I've been thinking to myself, do good people really exist? And if so, what constitutes a good person? Is it good deeds, a kind heart, putting others before yourself? And how are these things measured? Does consistency matter? Is someone who's done 99 good deeds, but one bad deed, still considered a good person? And inversely, is someone who has committed 99 bad deeds and one good deed, still considered a bad person. The question of how to become a good person has as many answers as there are people in the world. There aren't a lot of people who wouldn't want to be a good person, but it is also the case that most would not regard themselves as a good person. The paradox of humility. Am I a good person simply because I want other people to like me? Am I a good person because I genuinely want to do good in the world and make other people happy? And if putting others before myself is really what makes me a good person, how long can I do that before it compromises my own happiness and my own well-being? I would like to think that I'm a good person. But at the same time, I would also love to consider myself a humble person. But in thinking that I am humble, is that not the opposite of what humility is? So am I really a good person? Or do I really think I am? I don't know, it's very confusing. Utilitarian, deontologist and religious ethics focus on the greater good. These are ethics that focus on the greater population as opposed to the individual and are essentially instilled within us by external factors. What about individual ethics? Virtue ethics. Aristotle says a good person is one who cultivates his or her own values. The concept of intention. Say there's a man walking down the street and this man happens to bump into another man. This bump sends the second man hurling to the side. <laughs> this bump sends the second man hurling off to the side, falling onto the ground. However, it is this very bump that saved the second man from a piano falling down from the sky that would have crushed him. It was not the intention of the first man to save the second man. So does this make him a bad person, even though the outcome was good? When can I say that I am in fact a good person? Well, Aristotle says we could only evaluate if someone was a good person after they have died. So why try then? Why try to be a good person if you can only be even considered to be a good person after you've died? What's the use of trying to be good if the very concept of being good will always be subjective until the day you die? and perhaps even thereafter. Well, this is because being good brings meaning and meaning brings happiness. Now, when I say being good leads to happiness, this is not to be confused with pleasure. Pleasure is fleeting, while fundamental happiness is long lasting. It is our habits and intentions that bring meaning. And it is this meaning that could potentially lead to happiness. A generous person is not inherently generous just because they paid for drinks that one time. A generous person is generous because they find happiness in paying for the drinks. 
A generous person is generous because they find meaning and sustaining happiness in being able to do good for others. So do good people really exist? I would like to think so. At certain times, I would like to think yes. Sometimes it almost feels like everyone else has their own agenda and is never really good for the sake of being good. Am I a good person? I would like to think that I am. However, I know that there are many times when I am not. But I try to be. And I think that's good enough. Peace.